Hello guys, Gene here with G-Squared Tactical. As you know, we've done a review on my, well, Trey done a review on his shadow system some time ago. Which one was that that you have? It was the MR. The MR 920? Yeah. And then I had a CR 920. A lot of you guys berated me because I wasn't a fan of it. I ended up selling it. And it's not because of functioning problems. I wasn't terribly accurate with the gun even with an optic on there. And it was just how light it was and how hard it kicked, you know? And I felt like all shadow guns were gonna be that way because that was their game, right? They cut down the slide, they lightened it up to make it uh, more carryable, lighter. But in doing so, it increases the recoil. Well, as you can see on the, the box of this gun, they were asking $989 for this gun. I walk in the store and they're having a special that day. Honestly, it was so low, I still think they might have mislabeled it. It was $699 for everything you see here except for the optic. I couldn't turn that down. Uh, it comes with the flared magwell, but you have to obviously put that on there yourself. It came with two 17 round P mags. Obviously, I got my 21 round P mag in here. Got me a couple of Glock 19X mags loaded up here. So, if you have some Glock 17 magazines, they'll work fine as well. Got you the big long 30s. You want to put those in though? They'll work out too. Uh, so, again, this is the Shadow System DR920. I have the Holison uh, 507. I'm sorry, the 407C with the green dot mounted up here. And it was a direct mount, so I didn't need any plates or anything like that. I do really, the reason I decided to give it another chance was yes, because the price was right. But this is probably one of the finest feeling guns I have ever held. It really, really reminds me of a 1911 almost. And because it is so light, it makes it even more comfortable. And it is fashioned after a Glock 17. So that is a very comfortable gun to hold as well. But the weight difference, I mean, this, this gun has 22 rounds in it and a Hollison mounted on it. Did come with the green tritium field front sight, blacked out serrated rear sight. They are suppressor height, so you can see right through that suppressor. I mean, um, right through that optic and co-witness just fine. And I'm just gonna shoot this today to see. We did put a few rounds down range, just zeroing our optic. But I wanna see if my mind changes about carrying a shadow system. I really wanna like this thing. So I'm gonna get on this, uh, what is this thing called, Texas Star? Texas Star. I was a beast at it last time. I don't know about this time though, I guess we'll see. I'm happy about that because I really like this gun. I like the company. I'm quite certain that the, that the company is better known and or maybe ex-police or something like that. So I really, really want to support them. I really wanted to like this gun. And man, that was, that was fun. could not do that with the CR920 because again, the recoil was just not manageable at all. I understand it was a small gun, but I also shot Trey's 
And yours, your MR920, it's fashioned after the Glock 19, is that right? Yeah. And so even that hit a little bit too hard. I think we did. And again, call me a pussy and all the other stuff that you people call us. Hey, man, listen, we're used to it. That's fine. It's not that, oh, it's hurting my girly little hands. That's not what I mean. I mean, most of the guns that Trey and I own, we want to have fun with them at the ring. Sometimes they're just not fun to shoot if they just, you know, they're not like this. They don't recoil. It's hard to stay on target. They're just not fun to shoot. And I wasn't carrying that gun around. It was a range toy for me. In comparison to, or comparison to other options, it, it, it hit way harder than other options. So in that case, I don't understand why cutting down everything to lighten it up. Yes, maybe it makes it more carryable, but it certainly did not make it more shootable. And maybe that's your forte and that's fine, but you know, we're the one reviewing. I have a right to my opinion, right, Trey? That's right. Let's see if I can get this right one. I don't want to mess Trey's part. Every time Gene gets a new gun, it's always his favorite gun. It's the best gun he's ever had. You know, I'm not saying all that because as you guys know, I bought, you know, I, I got $4,500 in a staccato this year. So you gotta say that's your favorite, right? You have to. Yeah. Um, you spent $4,500, you know? So, but man, I'll tell you what, this is actually, a carryo option for me, a carryable option for me. I believe I might actually find myself carrying this. Again, it's optic ready, super lightweight with 22, 21. I like that look. This is a 21 round P mag. I really like that look. I like the flared mag well on there versus the 17 rounder that came with it. You got a more flush fit there. That's probably how I would carry if I did carry this gun but if it was nightstand or truck gun I would have the extra capacity there and kind of really helps you feel like you got a better purchase on the gun we just now put pretty rapid fashion 100 rounds down range um, do you want to shoot it or you I can you good either way I'm fine all right well let's cut the camera a minute and load tray up a couple mags to see what he thinks just about. gonna mention that uh, because I'm not going to do, or at least I don't think I'm going to, unless you guys request. I'm not going to do a tabletop on this. Uh, this here is just simply my you know, Hollison. This is the plate that came off. Uh, I think actually this is one of the plates that if you use, if you... No, no, this is actually the plate that came off the gun, the cover plate for the optic. And this was with my, my Hollison. It's got two extra back straps, so three totals. Got a little tool in there to push the back strap out. And your owner's manual. And I, as always, they do have the nice little bag, five magazine pouches, place for your gun. Really, really like that. I love when people give nice soft cases with their guns. Anyway, what you got, Trey? Yeah, so like the so the optic, they have that optic mounting system. That That's you right. Only, you put a little slide slide. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you right. Can mount I forgot anything. That's right. So, That's right. but yeah, so we're shooting this New Republic uh, nine millimeter <clears throat> FMJ 115 grain. High quality, high quality. Which honestly, we ain't never had no problems with it. No, it's been pretty. And good. you just littered, so. Well, you know, it's not litter if you go back and pick it up. Well, so. you know, that ain't what the people's gonna say. That's okay. You know That's how they saying. are. All right. And you're living up to that. So. I, Gene, was talking about my MR920. I absolutely love that gun. It's, a, it's my nightstand gun. I love the way that it feels in my hand. And I've actually been kind of looking forward to shooting this. So I think I'm going to start out with accuracy and go for 
those little little black with the red in the center. Well, that's the first time you shot it. Try again. But let me say this real quick before I do shoot again. The trigger is hot. I don't know if you noticed that or picked up on it. Hot? The heat with this gun, I didn't notice this on my MR920, but the trigger itself is warm to the touch. Yeah, so, I mean, they, they thinned it out. They thinned her down. Gene did put 100 through it, so. Yeah, I did. So you said metal? Make a little ding ding? Uh, I mean, you know, if you want to. Yeah, I we didn't, I didn't put the stars back up for you, so that's the least you can do is that's hit some right. metal. That's all right. This gun certainly left me speechless. This is the Shadow Systems DR920 equipped with the Hollison Green Dot. I'm in love. I am in love, absolutely in love, guys. If you, if you like today's video, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next one.